Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be walking through Cisco Packet Tracer 9.2.1.11 titled Configuring Name Standard ACLs. And to begin, we'll open up our Packet Tracer activity, go ahead and give it a reset just to clear everything out and make sure it's fresh. And there we go. Alright, so this scenario is we have this network and the senior network administrator has tasked us with creating a standard named ACL to prevent access to a file server. All clients from one network and one specific workstation from a different network should be denied access. So the first thing we want to do is verify connectivity before we configure and apply an access control list. So we're just going to do a ping from each device over to the file server. Can't see the results for PC2, so we'll run that one again. All right, so everything can access the file server here. We don't want that, so we're going to get into router one and create an access control list to prevent that. So we're going to hop into router 1's command line interface and get up to the global configuration mode and create this access list as a standard ACL. Call it file server restrictions. We'll go ahead and tell it to permit A specific host, PC1 here. And to deny anything else that tries to come across. The next thing we need to do is to apply this ACL. So we need to take a look at our topology and we want to see which interface is coming over to the file server, which is FA01, the fast Ethernet interface. So we're going to jump into that interface and tell it to use the list that we created that will allow PC1 to connect but nothing else. Um, we tell it out instead of in because we're going to be filtering traffic that comes out of this interface. Alright, we want to verify that it was applied successfully. So we're going to go ahead and end and give a show access lists. We have the correct host in here and the correct list to deny everything else. And then we'll give a show IP interface F01 and we're specifically looking for this line showing that our list was successfully applied as an outgoing list on that interface. And then to verify that, um, we do have 100% completion showing we set everything up correctly. We just want to verify. Um, all three of these PCs should be able to ping the web server. And it may take a couple of pings. Alright, so all three can successfully ping over to the web server. Zero, 1, and 2 are all successful there. But only PC1 should be able to ping to our file server. And that's what we're showing here. Only PC1 is able to contact the file server. We'll run that again just to make sure. Make sure I do that in the correct direction. And there it is. So that's everything for this activity. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, other than that, I'll see you all in my next video.